In this lecture, we are going to learn about searching an element in a binary search tree. Okay, so we will be searching an element in binary search tree. So a primer about binary search tree. So it's a tree which can have maximum of two children. Okay, and this is the root of the tree and these are the nodes of the tree. Each node can have maximum of two children. This is the left child. This is the right child of a tree. Okay. And the property is, okay. So let's try to see the properties of binary search tree. So what are the properties? The BST properties are for each node. Okay. The value of the left child should be less than equal to the value of the parent node. Okay. So for example, if you see this one, so value of this left child, for this node 40 is less than value of the parent which is 40. Similarly value of the right child for example for this one 15 is greater than equal to 10 okay. So value of right child should be greater than equal to value of the parent node. Value of all the in fact the recursive property also says that value of all the nodes in the left subtree should be less than equal to the value in the root of that subtree. So for example 20 so everything here in the left subtree should be less than 20 everything here on the right subtree should be greater than 20 so similarly if we have this 40 as the root of a subtree then everything on the left 24 and 30 should be less than or equal to 40 and everything on the right subtree for 40 should be greater than or equal to 40 okay so this follows now what happens is let's say that we want to search an element 24 in this tree. So the power of binary search tree is that it makes the search very fast and it makes this logarithmic. So it is log of n to the base 2. If there are n elements, you will require just log n to the base 2 elements. So for example, if you do a linear search of let's say 64 elements, then in linear searching it is O of n you might need on average around 32 searches or comparisons but here you just need log of 64 to the base 2 which is just 6 comparisons to search any element which is very good if your number in number of elements increases okay so search n which is 24 in this subtree okay in this tree basically so let's try to search this so now what we do 24 is greater than 20 okay the root element so what happens then i know that because of the bst property that everything to the left subtree is smaller than the root of the subtree or the tree so i'm sure that 24 will be found in the right subtree so i can just remove the half of the elements of the tree okay so this means that if tn is the number of comparisons okay for searching a key k okay so now the input just gets divid divided by two so half of the elements are removed then what happens now i have to search so i go and search just in the previous case in the half of that subtree of the right subtree and now I compare 24 with 40 and I find that 24 is in fact less than okay so there is something wrong here so 24 is less than 40 okay and what will I do so this is less than and hence I will search on the left subtree so what will happen now again this gets divided now it becomes tn by 4 okay and so now 24 is less than 40 so this is correct and i'm searching here next i go to compare it with the left subtree because 24 i compare with 30 again it's smaller so i go and compare it with left subtree or left child which is 24 and here i find it's equal okay so i just made one two three four comparisons if you see here and i could find it and how many elements i had initially so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 elements. And I could just finish my search in 1, 2, 3, 4 comparisons. Okay, so that is 
quite less and now let's try to move further okay so let's see the code okay how we instruct the computer to do the search for us so this is the tree and what we do is that we have a node struct node start t node okay and int key we pass we pass as the argument to this the root of the subtree or the tree where we want to search and initially if ever i find that okay if whatever i was passing is becoming null then the key is not found and if let's say i was searching 24 and if this key is less than the node data where we are searching the root of the subtree then it will search in the left so what will my problem become it will become a recursive problem where it will search tree in the left half t node left but if let's say it, so it was let's say i was searching 5 then 5 is less than 20 so i will be searching and i will be calling search tree t node left okay and i will call with 5 but if i'm searching let's say 60 so i will search in the right subtree because 60 is greater than 24 and if somewhere i find that okay let's say i was searching 20 then it will just become equal to the node data and i'm done okay so this is there and now let's try to look so i want to search 80 okay so st is a short form for search tree i call search tree and this is a way for using stack we will see how it becomes easier to keep track of the functions okay recursive functions so search tree i call with the root node 20 okay so this 20 tells that i'm searching with the root node from the root node and 80 is the thing i want to search okay then 80 because 80 is greater than the value in the root node 20 so i now search on the right hand side okay so i will basically i will call now it is greater than 20 so i would this is your key is greater than data so i will search tree i will call and it will go to this part so now i will call st i will search in the subtree with root node that's 40 and i will again search the element 80 then i will move and this c is telling that okay which part of the code i'm at now so i'm again now searching 60 i'm in the subtree with root node as 60 and come i'm searching 80 in it and again i come here it's not null so this 60 is not null okay and then my key 80 is not less than 60 my key is greater than 60 so i again call search tree t right so i will call this one okay and then i call search tree 80 node 80 i come here and i search so now this data 80 is not greater than the root node 80 it's not less than the 80 and it's equal so i get the value and that's how you search in a binary search tree so now let's very quickly find the time complexity of this algorithm okay so the time complexity of binary search okay tn is the number of comparisons that i have to make okay so from this code how many comparisons i make i'm com making comparison here here and here so how many comparisons i need so tn what happens because if n elements are there after making one comparison i just need to search in the one half of the tree so tn becomes tn by 2 the problem of searching among n elements after one comparison it becomes the problem of searching in n by 2 element okay then what happens now again i was searching in the half of the element okay and then what happens again after one comparison again i either search on the right subtree or the left subtree so it becomes tn by 2 square plus 1 plus 1 which is 2 okay then again i make the search so it becomes tn by 2 cube plus 3 
and I know that okay if the size of the tree is one I just need one comparison okay finally if it goes like this it becomes t n by 2 to the power of k plus k and let n be a power of 2 okay then what happens this finally becomes n by 2 to the power of k becomes 1 so t n becomes t 1 plus k is if you take it here so it will become log n to the base 2 so t n is t 1 plus log n to the base 2 so this one is t of n is t of 1 which is 1 plus log of n to the base 2 which is o of log of n okay so this is becoming very fast search okay so that is about binary search okay using binary search tree so i hope you understand this thanks a lot